this multiple choice question, we're looking at an application of log question. So we have a formula that's given to us that represents the apparent brightness of stars. That's the magnitude of a star. Now, L is the light flux of a given star, and L sub zero is the light flux of the dimmest star visible to the unaided human eye. I want to know how many times greater a light flux from a star with a magnitude of negative 1.5 is compared to a star with a magnitude of 3.5. So let's use our formula substituting in for m negative 1.5 to get an expression and then 3.5 to get another expression. So in my first one we'll do negative 1.5 equals 6 minus log 2.5 sorry times log of L over L sub zero. So to get this ratio by itself, because that's going to tell us the comparison, how many times greater it is, I'm going to first subtract 6 from both sides to get negative 7.5 equals negative 2.5 log of that ratio. I'm going to now divide both sides by negative 2.5, and I get 3 equals 2 log of L over L sub 0. Now this is log base 10, so I'm going to switch it into exponential form. So base to the answer equals the argument, so that would be 10 cubed equals L over L sub 0. So that's for the first one. Now let's look at the second one. I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to use the magnitude of 3.5. So 3.5 is equal to 6 minus 2.5 log of L over L sub 0. So I will subtract 6 from both sides first. So 3.5 take away 6 is negative 2.5. And in a similar way, I will divide both sides by negative 2.5. So I end up getting 1 equals log of L over L sub 0. Again, this is to the base of 10. A log without a base showing it has an invisible base of 10. So again, I will do circle of logs like that. And I end up getting that 10 to the exponent of 1 is equal to L over L sub 0. So if I want to know how many times greater one is than the other, I'm just going to divide the two to come up with the answer. So I'm going to do 10 cubed, that's the magnitude of 1, divided by 10 to the 1, sorry, not the magnitude, the ratio, and that would be 10 to the 3 take away 1, which is 2, and 10 squared is 100. So the answer to question number 9 is A.